friend John and Tom out here for a grueling two days of boot camp. And I'll tell you what, guys, what a remarkable turnaround. The problems I saw at the start were very draggy swings. You both pulled and dragged the ball from the front side exclusively. That's a really hard habit to break. But you worked really hard yesterday, four hours on getting the hips to drive open, getting the hands to throw. You guys didn't respond as well to the over-the-top tomahawk in motion, but to just throwing it from any angle that felt comfortable, you had great response today. Starting out with you, Tom, you, I'm sure that you would have hit into the uh, into the upper 80s with some of the line drives you had today, and you hit, some, you hit probably four or five balls over 300 feet. Talk about what got you to that point, what are you going to take home with you? Um, I think the big thing that I've learned over the two days is yesterday, this was my stance, this was a baseball stance. What I've learned is fully extend my arm with my bat back parallel and drive the knob of the ball toward where you're hitting it and then full extension, turn the, turn the wrist over once you, full extension, but the knob toward the ball and then when you swing, the, the bat will naturally leave on its own. It's a, a, a just a 180 on my swing and I'm hitting the ball a lot better. We worked a lot on the axe snap. You understand you want to separate the snap from the roll. And anyhow, the top hand has to blow by the bottom hand. You know, you, you initially you drive the knob towards the ball, but the top hand has to extend past the bottom hand. That's what creates the snap. And did you feel at the end that you manipulated the lag or the drive and felt the snap? Is that what you felt? I do, and then I, I get a lot more distance on the ball. I've, uh, you know, hit some balls pretty good today. Um, and I think it's just the, the change in the stance, the stride, no moving around, but you just take your stride. It's nice and simple. And then get your hips into the ball and then drive down, uh, knob toward the ball. And then the other thing is full extension, you know, using your power, use all your power. John, with you, your brother initially had you know, more power than you. He's got a few more skills at the bat than, than his brother has, but uh, you made a remarkable recovery today from uh, you know struggling a bit at the end yesterday you drilled really great when we got down alive yesterday you had a hard time getting it extended and for you it was a, it was a longer slower road but you certainly got to the day it just hit outstanding today and uh, uh, talk a little bit about what you still have for shortcomings to overcome and what you felt like you you did a great job achieving uh, first and foremost we had a great time my brother and I up here in Wisconsin and to answer your question uh, I do a little bit of dancing and I think I just need to keep uh, a little bit quieter and uh, get those hips into it and the knob, like Tom reiterated, the, to the knob and full extension so you get that power and all we did was hit inside pitches before. We've got to stay away from those because those are jammers but uh, with the right techniques you can hit inside pitch but uh, but uh, and also I was a little uptight. I got to be a little bit more relaxed, a little bit loosey goosey there at the, with my swing. Be you know, John Daly ripping and gripping. Yeah, sometimes I feel your arms. I'm trying to manipulate them to show you. And you're just tight as heck. You know, you you know you got to learn it's a it's a looseness when you go to throw. It's a throw in motion. I think one of the drills if you guys can get a wiffle ball bat and throw it into a screen, I think that'd be a great drill like we did upstairs in the cage. What do you guys think? Absolutely. Yeah, there's a, a lot of drills that you can use, and Bogey showed us several of them, and uh, and they really make a difference. At the time you're doing it, you're not really sure, but then when you come down here and you see the results, it makes a big difference. I just, just fundamentally, I'm 67 years old, I've fundamentally changed my swing in two days, and uh, it feels good. It feels good. It's, I'm not going to get it overnight, but um, I think in another... You know, another few days, few weeks, few months, as I get used to it. I think I'm going to be hitting, hitting a lot, a lot more balls over the fence than I am now. Well, John, you guys never used the team nearly as much as we did here. What do you think going back home? Are you guys going to? We'll be ordering. Team? We'll be ordering one as soon as we get back. We're home. getting the GT. The GT. <laughs> there you go. Get your 10% discount. <laughs> also, you know, uh, you can. And uh, the special balls where you hit the axe evil, right into the evil eye. B, evil BP the rockets. The evil BP balls would be buying a dozen of those when we get home. Because they have the eye on it, and it gives you focus. Um, here, right there. there. That's, you, that's where the axe head hits. You get, you know, and that's where you you want to meet it is uh, on the bullseye. But it's been a great two days for us, you know. We, been a fantastic uh, time. For yeah, you guys too, I, I think. I think. The last thing that maybe is breaking down on the swing is you need to, that top hand has to finish more, finish through more, you know. So when you right, get the team, follow through. Well, the top, the top hand more than yeah. Top hand has to finish more, more through, whether it's sideways or over the top. And that's some of the drills you can do are 
top hand drills off the off the tee with the ball, and, and you can do lead arm drills and as then, well. And, and the, the uh, tool you gave us as part of the swing uh, the swing simulator, right? The the, the, the slide. Uh, the slide instrument that you uh, was included so, with the so package. The simulator. Yeah, the yeah. simulator. Hey, that, that'll help us. You know, guys, we kind of sucked yesterday, to be honest with you. We're good players, don't get me wrong, but we weren't getting our full potential. And, and, and again, we, we don't, we haven't we still don't have, but we we're getting ago. there. And now we have the techniques to go b back home. And we live near each other, so we, we know we know what yeah, we, I, we I have think, the foundation think, now. Yeah. I think a good role to go, uh, I think a good technique or I think good training to go back is do that diagonal bat drill for all your workouts as a warm up, and then set that swing simulator up in the house someplace. You just walk by and take five or six swings because the nice thing about that is it gets you on the right plane to the ball. It teaches you how to throw the hips. It teaches you how to get extension and snap through. You know, top hand can really follow through, and again, it doesn't let you lift it up in there. And I think lastly, you get yourself two buckets of balls and go out together and, and place it to all fields. You know, find yourself. Like you said, Tom, you can start hitting, you can hit some great shots, both of you guys, to center field. Start placing the ball in center field where there's an open area, and you know, the guys won't be able to play you over on the side. So, awesome work with you guys. I'll tell you what, that's one of the best turnarounds I've ever seen in one day here. But, you know, the first day, it doesn't always click in right away because there's so much stuff you get tired, you overtrain. But the second day here, we dumbed it down. We got thinking, hey, one focus out there. Use the hips to drive the hands forward. And, Really proud of the effort. What do you think of the Dean Ernie bats? You guys are playing mostly ASA, but you're going to start to get into seniors. How did you like the field, the Larry Carter and of the 13-inch no, no, balance? No, I, like, I like the field. Um, uh, I use uh, a mic and bat now, which I'm, I'm still going to use some, but I, I'm going to. Uh, I like this bat here. I, I like the fact that I hit him over with this bat, so I'm going to end up buying one of these. And you got, you got the chance to swing the flipper after mass. Absolutely. How did you like the feel of those compared to what you're swinging with the ASA balls now? Uh, absolutely. I'll be buying one. I, I wanted to purchase the bats. Another reason why I came up here to get test out the bats. Love the bat. I'll be getting one when I get back home for sure. All right. You guys are good shills for the product. This was awesome. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, I really enjoyed it. I'll tell you what, awesome.